All you just need to know is that I'm doing awesome stuff. And there we go, we have a pulverizer. But, yeah, but why not do some automatic smelting while we're at it? So, I'm going to need to piece together those eight bricks that I got to get ourselves some. Oh, I already pieced together the bricks! Wow! Why didn't you tell me, past self? I, I thought we were friends, past self. So now, I just need a piece of redstone. A piece of redstone. And now, if I piece this together, and this, 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 and this, and there we go. But, and, well, I'll say but why in a bit, but with these two things, powered furnace, ooh, complex GUI, well, it's not really, that's the thing you have to smelt, that's the output, but what's with the colours? Why does the exterior of, uh, why do these coloured holes match this? Well, I'll tell you in a bit, but it's really awesome when you know it just is. Oh, trust me when I say that. Um, oh yeah, um, yeah, um, may as well tell you, um, these are thermal expansion machines. This is the pulverizer. The pulverizer is just like your industrial craft macerator, and this is your powered furnace, which is just like your industrial craft furnace. Um, for anyone who has never, you know, played Thermal Expansion, what, I'll just say right now that um, these machines have special properties. Essentially, they can take stuff out of adjacent chests or inventories and place them inside themselves. So, uh, so for anybody who doesn't know, blue is input, orange is main output, yellow is alternate output. There are others like green and purple and red, like here. Red is main output in this case. So let me just set this up like so. So this is orange, which means that both the red, which was here, and the yellow, which is here, will be sent to the right. Um, these can automatically eject to adjacent blocks. So in this case, if I have the output to the right, that means that uh, that uh, uh, that means they'll spit out to the right. But since we have a furnace beside it, which is blue, which is an input, that means that it immediately transfers any of its dusts from here to here. Awesome, isn't it? I know. I so I so fell in love when I oh, when I saw this. Like, seriously, I mean, who doesn't want some kind of automatic method of, you know, of, of, you know, just quickly smelting and processing all your ores? Like, seriously. And I'm going to move my ingots to that chest I just placed down, because this is just, well, essentially going to be my, uh, my ingot's chest, really. It's n not really ever going to move. And um, I'll have another chest here when, well, I get the wood. <laughs> oh god, I'm so low on wood. But, as I had said, it's just like an industrial craft furnace. So, as, you've, as you're all assuming right now, it requires power. And you're right, this does require power. But what kind of power? Electricity? Nope. Minecraft jewels. Minecraft jewels is a power system implemented in buildcraft and forestry, and also other mods. Initially pioneered by the author of Forestry Sengear, um, it was made that the, build, that the familiar buildcraft engines, which you know and love today, would output a specific power, uh, kind of power, uh, known now as Minecraft jewels. These Jewels could be used to power anything, from quarries to pumps to these little machines, really. 
And for anybody who knows anything about Buildcraft, you should know that we're going to need a good amount of redstone and a good amount of glass. And with that, it means <sighs> I'm going to have to... Oh, some like bricks have finished. I'm definitely going to have to... I like tone this down like, seriously. So let me just get myself a good amount of sand to start off with. That's only an estimate, by the way. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the ideal amount of wood to place in the furnace is. I think it's two boat planks to three things smelted. That's what I remember. Of course, I'm not going to interrupt the smelting process else. I would lose some valuable fuel. It looks like it's gonna approximately do it, and it just did. So, with some glass and um, should I use gold? Yeah, why not? Actually, I'm having a bit of a blank moment right here. Wait, no, 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 I can't use gold. Um, oh shit, why did I do that? Why? Why? God damn it. And to think that I could have almost claimed myself to be a knowledgeable and organized guy, but no. I was like, I kind of like a rating system on like how how well people are organized it kind of like spans from like various levels from like Diewolf 20 himself who is presumably the most organized minecrafter i know all the way down to like trxd level really <laughs> like i'm one of the most disorganized people in the world i will make myself a, a, like some way to organize my stuff just so you know so, all this, all this talk about being unorganized is not, uh, is, is not completely to waste, you know? Um, oh yeah, and for all those that are actually sick and tired of me actually spending too much time, um, making these, um, uh, 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 like chopping down all these trees and making cuts sequentially, um, don't you worry, um, I will uh, I will be making some way to actually reduce my uh, woodcutting trips in the future. So don't you worry about that. So now, if I know anything, let's make myself some golden pipes. These are buildcraft pipes, just so you know, in case you are, uh, well, I'm not going to break it to you just what you are just yet. But you guys are definitely something if you don't know what I'm up to. So, just do that. Um, actually, I'm going to have to move these pipes up a bit. I just realized. Just like so. This ain't too effective, but oh well, it'll do, it'll do. Like, seriously, I'm maze freaking well. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is just the right amount to get my system up and running. Like, seriously, I'm sweating over the fact that this is just enough. And when I say that, take that with passion. Because seriously, I ain't kidding. <laughs> no way am I kidding. So, of course, since anybody should know what I'm going to be doing, what engines should I be using? Should I be going for the good old steam, aka Stirling engine? Shall I go for the combustion? Well, 
combustion's a really bad idea at the moment. Could I go for, like, I don't know, electric, biogas, peat fired, electrical? I think if I could do one or two things. I could either go for these steam engines, which is kind of a death sentence. I'm not entirely sure how good these engines are. Or I could go for these engines. This is the hobbyist steam engine. It's an engine introduced in Railcraft, believe it or not. It's kind of Railcraft's own little way to produce Minecraft jewels. Just in case you don't have Buildcraft. Shedfish. Or if you can't be asked to make any other kind of engine. As you can see, this mod pack, the Dial 20 mod pack, obviously adds a lot of engines. But which one to go for, really? Which one? Um, I have the idea of going for either the Thermal Expansion Steam Engine, which has a more kind of a Neo and Industrious effect, or go for the Hobby Steam Engine, which is by far my most popular choice. I'll have to get back to you when I've done a bit of research into which one to use. Now can I tick? Okay, I did my research and um, I think it's somewhat unanimously agreed that I should go for the Thermal Expansion Steam Engines. Mainly just for the fact that, well, first of all, they're much cheaper than the hobbyist steam engines, I'll immediately say that. But also the fact that, well, they can produce more energy, believe it or not. I know, a bit of an imbalance in power? What is this madness? But, you know, th uh, but, you know, not all things are as sweet as they may seem. So, of course, actually I'm going to have to smelt down some more copper, believe it or not. Fortunately, I have a, a, a good amount. Just make myself a bunch of sticks to help out in this situation. And I'll smelt down this copper because the most obvious thing I am lacking is well, copper in this situation. I got the right amount of stuff, it appears. Ju uh, just need to throw in good old kindling and we should be good. Um, just uh, uh, just as a bit more of a better explanation as to why I'm doing this. Um, hobbyist steam engines, as I know for a fact, just appeared in my inventory. I didn't even click. And my clicks are as loud as hell. Okay, the fuck? Um... But, uh, the, uh, the hobby steam engine, I know for a fact, produces a maximum of 1.6 Minecraft jewels per tick, but the thermal expansion steam engine produces 2 Minecraft jewels per tick. And if you count that up exponentially, I get a lot more bang for buck. Let's just say that. <laughs> So let me just prepare some stuff real quick, because I need to... I don't think I have enough wood. Damn it! Why do I never have enough wood? And I should... Mm, not enough cobbles. Well, damn it. So copper gear. Ow! No, 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 no! Don't leave my sights. Oh yeah, they're interchangeable. Nice. Yeah, I've, I had. I was a bit worried for a second. That the, um, that the copper gears from uh, Thermal Expansion would clash with the forestry copper gears, but it appears that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> They're interchangeably usable. So, fucking monsters. Oh, 
Oh, for Christ's sake. Hello? May I help you, sir? Oh my god. Brainy test I got zombie! Finally. Oh damn it! Didn't get enough time to say my uh, my nightly uh, my nightly speech. Damn it! Oh well, about time that I got done to business anyway. Okay, I see a creeper in the distance. Shouldn't be too bad because I need to do just a tiny bit of chopping. Seriously, th this will all not go. This will not. Go to waste. Holy shit! Wow. Fucking creeper sneak attack. It appears none of the trees actually died. Cover it all up. I know a lot of people could be complaining at me now saying, TRXD, why aren't you covering it up correctly? I'll just be like, well, that's because I'm half, uh, uh, I'm very, very overprotective. So, let me just do this real quick. And I may as well chop up this tree because. Oh no! Wow. You try pull another stunt like that, you're gonna wind up with a beating you are. Well, let's just pray that I don't get beaten up again. You know, why not just dance around the tree stump? I don't, why don't I? Okay, got Good amount of wood here. Um. Oh, hello there, Mr. Spider. What are you doing? Here you go. You're gonna be my friend. I don't want you to be my friend! Get out of my sight! Let me just check on my crops real quick. If I can remember where my crops are. Um. You fucking asshole chickens! I have to replant that. Sons of bitches. See, this is why I said that I was gonna need to patch this up. Okay, now let's just check on the copper real quick. Brilliant. Okay, now need to make some more of these. This is good. Yeah. Hopefully. Please don't tell me I'm missing free copper. Ugh. There's not really much I can do, so I may as well put up with it. Okay, let me just get myself two iron then, because I'm uh, because I'm obviously running out of stuff. Okay, I may as well make substitutes. TRXD always makes compromises. That's a peat fired engine. Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you almost caught me there, you did. You almost caught me. So I need some silver. Oh do I? This is becoming more and more drawn out by like every like step. I may as well do it. May as well. 
this is what I get for starting the, uh, this whole thing far too early. But, tr but trust me, trust me, this is not going to waste. Ah, here we go. So now we need to place this here. And now we got some transmission calls. I was almost fooled into making peat fired engines, which are not the best engines, if you ask me. They're steam. Brilliant. Now, let's place one here and here. Ah. Um, here's that I'm gonna need um, some water supply. This shouldn't be too hard, I guess. Um, yeah, there's always another step to it, isn't there? Always another step. Um, well, don't worry. Um, I think I'll save that for another time, because this play session has drawn out quite a bit, and I've already done a good amount. Ne at next session, um, we'll expand the farm. Um, we'll... Uh, we'll finish off those steam engines, because I knew this was going to come. Those steam engines require water, and I need to find some way to supply it with water. Um, also, I'll be doing a bit of mining in between episodes, um, just to rush this ahead, because I really want to get some stuff done. So, I am TRXD, and bye!